Hello, my Geminis. Welcome to your November 2022 monthly reading, or whenever you are so forth called to this reading, please do note that that is when this message was meant to reach you. This is a very general message, so please take only what resonates for your situation. Leave behind what simply does not. Feel free to check your moon, rising, and Venus signs. For you or the person that you have most on your mind to get additional information or assess out further details. If you are unsure, unaware which other planetary placements are, there is a link in my description box to a free natal calculator that can help you assess out that information. Gemini, this is going to be a reading focusing on love, romance, and relationships. So if you're looking for something more general, you may want to find a different reading at this time. That being stated, let's go ahead and take a look into what is going on in your situation. Gemini, we're going to start with your overall energy at this time. All right. All right. So, Gemini, we've got the Ace of Pentacles popping out. So you have a new opportunity or you're ready to embrace something new at this time. Beautiful way to start this. Let's take a look at your subconscious energy. Uh, your hidden energy, but before we go on to that, some of you, this is a new, you're ready to embrace a new opportunity for possible long-term stability, long-term happiness. Some of you, this is looking for a long-term partner. Yeah, some of you, I got a new beginning, a new chance in love that can lead to this potential as well. All right, let's take a look at what's happening in your subconscious or hidden energy at this time. So this could be energy around you, surrounding you, or going on within you you may or may not be aware of. Now remember, we're all on different timelines, so please take only what resonates for your situation. It could have happened now, happening in the future, or it already happened. All right, so beautiful. Hidden subconscious energy, we've got the Queen of Cups showing up, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, with the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you are wishing, hoping for love here, someone to really lift you up, support you in good times and bad times. The Queen of Cups is indicating subconsciously you're ready for a new opportunity when it comes to love or ready for this opportunity in love. Someone may be presenting themselves to you at this time, Gemini. Now, this is happening because you have taken the time to really get focused on you to become more self-accepting, know your worth, know your value. This is definitely this energy of wish fulfillment and balance. This is the last step before emotional fulfillment entirely. So this is you becoming comfortable with yourself here. So let's take a look now at your person, the person that you have most on your mind, the person you're hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to or in current connection or will be connecting with in the future. Let's see what they're showing up. All right, so we have the Knight of Swords coming in. So this energy is all about impulsivity, rushing in, saying what needs to be said, making a declaration here. And this is somebody who doesn't mix words. They're very blunt in their communication. Somebody wants to rush forward and speak a truth to you, but they are a bit wounded here. You could have this person a little blocked. I do see that they have an intention for love here with you. This is a person that has the ability to build that foundation with. Let's see what's going on in their subconscious energy or in their hidden energy at this time. Gemini's person's hidden energy. Yeah, subconsciously they've got the hanged man here. So six of cups at the bottom of the deck. They can feel, you know, I'm getting two entirely different messages. So Gemini, please take this, these messages where they fit for you. So the first energy that I have is they're caught up from the past here and they're needing to get a new perspective. So their mind's kind of focusing on what has been and they're kind of, this is kind of leading them to not take any action. Their desire is to move forward quite quickly, make this declaration, you know, state their attention, be very blunt in their communication so you know exactly how they feel. But at the same time, there this hanged man is telling me that subconsciously, because of past energy, they're not moving forward. They're not taking action. They're not following through with their current energy and, and desire. Now, for others of you, 
this person very much feels a strong connection, a kindred spirit kind of energy with you. And this has kind of got this person turned upside down. They're not really sure how to proceed. They want to come in, they want to rush in, they want to decor, you know, make a decoration. For some of you that are waiting for this right opportunity, they're trying to find the right footing in order to come through. And this is stressing them out because they want nothing more to rush ahead, but they're waiting, to, maybe waiting to see how you are going to be open to them or how you're going to react to them, Gemini. So let's see the shared energy between you and this person. What is the shared energy between Gemini and the person they have most on their mind? All right, so we got the Ten of Swords. Interesting energy. So the Ten of Swords, of course, marks an ending. So something for some of you, this is a situation, and I'm going to pull another one here in just a minute. But for some of you, this is a situation where you thought it was, you know, done over, completely finished. That there's no way to resurrect this situation. Some of you may have a past with this person. Some of you, this could very well be an ex, but this is a situation where both of you felt like this was unrevivable. There could have been player energy here involved, but Gemini, this person still got you in, under their skin. They, they want to come forth and make a decoration here. They now see a long-term partnership with you. And that's not obviously going to apply to all of you. So let's see if we have one more shared energy between Gemini and their person. Yeah. And for others of you, we got the King of Wands coming through. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries that you're connecting with. But this is telling me King of Wands energy, right? This is full of passion, desire, wanting to get things moving, wanting to conquer at all costs. There is this Hermit energy, right? Going within, trying to understand all the working parts. Um, so there's a little bit detached energy. It tells me that a lot of you have not come together with this person yet, but there is this wild passion, this wild desire to really get this going. And that's shared between the two of you. This is a mutual thing. There's a lot of chemistry, a lot of, um, sexual energy between the two of you. This is something that you both very much want to go after here, wanting an opportunity, wanting a chance. All right, let's see what other additional information or advice or guidance is coming through. For this situation. All right. So the chariot card of cancer at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have judgment in the reverse. With the Nine of Pentacles. Very interesting energy. They turned this one around. I don't know if you saw that on camera or not. Um, so usually I don't read reversal. But here I am going to leave that just as it is. The message is concise. Very concise in this. Alright. So. The advice is to stand in your, your own energy. Your own power. Gemini, welcome in your abilities. Be proud of who you are and, your, and be okay with your own self at this time. Do not rush ahead. There's some things here that do need to be examined. With judgment in reverse, this is telling me that no one is making a move on this. No one's making any decisions. Both of you are in a place where you need to embrace your higher selves, your higher energies, and your each other individually. The Nine of Pentacles also speaks about being in a place, being ready to receive love, but not needing or demanding it. Being okay if it happens, but being completely solid if it doesn't. You have the ability with the Nine of Pentacles to manifest whatever you want into reality without a whole lot of effort here. Now, what you need to look at is how you can move this forward into the love that you're desiring, the love that's being offered, how it can be victorious how it can be solid and steady where well, for some of you again this is a renewal of love for some of you this is a new love coming in and i'm also getting here as advice and guidance is now that you have stepped into your power and you've embraced yourself because some of you have already done that it is time to cast judgments about the past aside move forward embrace love and embrace the commitment that is coming towards you 
you and your person need to step into this energy. Judgment in reverse is meaning neither one of you currently are making any decisions regarding this. You're staying single. You're staying to yourselves. Although there is this intense desire to move forward, to make the offer, to enter into a commitment here. It has a promise of the potential to be long-term and steady. Love is possible in this situation. You have to choose it. You and your person have to choose it by lowering your guard <laughs> and going down this path to a wand. All right, guys, let's go ahead now and pull the zodiac signs that are showing up most in your energy. This is going to be from the most dominant to the least dominant. So what does that mean for you guys? Um, it's simply this. The most dominant energies here are going to be those that are closer to union, to the, those of you that are closer to the outcome here, um, closer to coming together, where this is more on track. Not that, that those that are dominant, right, least dominant coming through are not on track for this. It just means that it needs a little bit of more time. It needs a little bit more focus on this. It could even be this energy of needing to um, a lot, uh, work on yourselves, work on the situation yet. All right, so most dominant energies, we have Libra energy coming through. We have Leo energy coming through. We've got Scorpio energy. Aries energy. Cancer energy. And Aquarius energy. So those are the most dominant for you, Gemini. Least dominant, we have Gemini energy. We have Taurus energy. We have Capricorn energy. We have Pisces energy. We have Sagittarian energy. And we have Virgo energy. All right, let's go ahead and get your closing message. Now, Gemini, this message coming through is going to be your oracle, your relationship, your prosperity, and your protection message. Please do only take the messages that are resonating with you, that you feel a strong connection to. You can feel a strong connection to all four messages or to one. That's okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what is your most dominant message for best advice and guidance for the Gemini Collective? At this time, please make it clear, precise, and accurate. What does Gemini need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? Thank you. All right, so we have the card number seven to the sea coming through. And it comes with these messages here. The Oracle message. Isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Relationship message. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey is leading. Prosperity message. Everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to your most prosperous potential. To get into that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money. The true meaning of your personal currency lies within your skills, your talents and abilities, and most importantly, your core beliefs. Everything flows from your inner world and is reflected in the outer one. When grateful to serve, you align your prosperity consciousness with a higher consciousness. You can expect miracles. 
everything you need will come to you easily. And your protection message. When external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward, there is no hidden message for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow. You are in a natural cycle. So know that things will flow again in due course. There is no cause for alarm. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow. Even when the tide is going at, out, relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach. An ancient mariner say, in, saying applies to you now. When the fishermen cannot go to the sea, they stay home and repair their nets. All right, my beautiful Gemini. That is all the messages that are coming through for you this time. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into your situation, a little bit of clarity. Please, if you have not yet done so, hit that like button, get this message out to all the Geminis that need to see it. If you have not yet done so, please consider joining us at Kassarian House of Tarot. We would love to have you part of the Kassarian Soul Tribe. Gemini, remember to live in light and love, not just today, but every day. I hope to see you in your next reading. Namaste. Bye for now.